Hello students, welcome to session 4 of Climate and Adaptation. Students, in today's session we will continue with the interesting topic of adaptations. We learned about climate of a place and weather of a place and the factors describing it and now we will study about some animals which have adapted to different climates. So students, climate has a profound effect on all living organisms and animals are adapted to survive in the conditions in which they live, in which they survive. Animals living in very cold and hot climate must possess special features to protect themselves against the extreme cold or extreme heat. So there are some features and habits that help animals to adapt to their surroundings and these are the result of the process of evolution. Means a change. We have discussed in the previous crates about adaptations of animals to certain habitats. As examples of adaptation of animals to climatic conditions, we discuss only animals living in polar regions and tropical rainforests. As the name suggests, the polar regions, they are located near the poles, that is North Pole and South Pole. There are some well-known countries that belong to the polar regions and they are Canada, Iceland, Norway, Sweden, Greenland, Finland, Alaska, in USA, in Siberian region of Russia. There are examples of some other countries where the tropical rainforests are found and they are India, Brazil, Malaysia, Indonesia, Uganda, Kenya, Republic of Congo, Nigeria, etc. So, climate has a profound effect on all living organisms and these animals are adapted to survive in such conditions. So now, let us study about the adaptations of animals to different climates. Yes, students, have you ever gave a thought that how can polar bears live in the Arctic and penguins survive in Antarctic? How do some animals survive in the deserts with so little water? That is because that some animals have certain features or special characteristics that enable them to live in a particular climate successfully. And these special characteristics are called adaptations. So, this can also be defined as a change by which an animal becomes better suited to its environment. And this change may be a physical adaptation such as the size or shape of the animal's body the way in which its body works or it may be the way the animal behaves. So, it is a change by which an animal becomes better suited to its environment. This is adaptation. In the same way, we also have to get familiar with another term that is migration. So before discussing about the animals which have adapted to certain different climates, first study, let us study about migration. Students, the movement or change of position from one place to another place is termed as migration. In the case of animals, the movement of animals and birds from one place to another is termed as migration. In case of people, the movement or change of position of people from one place to another is termed as migration. So it is a general term. But it means the movement or change of position from one place to another. So here we are discussing about animals and birds. So basically, 
It involves mass movement of birds and animals from one place to another in response to a seasonal change. And these animals and birds migrate to avoid unfavorable conditions of food availability and temperature. And they come back to their native place again once the favorable conditions return. So there are some birds that even migrate just to lay eggs and then they come back to their native place after laying eggs. When favorable conditions are there, favorable conditions are available. So this is basically termed as migration. Right? Now let us come back to our first topic that is adaptation. Now here we are going to discuss about one such adaptation and that is hot and dry climates. That means desert like climates. Now students in hot and dry climates water is scarce and animals need adaptations to conserve water. So here most animals can get water from, from the plants they eat. Particularly succulent that is fleshy and juicy ones such as cactus they are found in such hot and dry climates. Then some animals also get water from fluids of the bodies of the animals they eat. Students, you will be very amazed to know that some scientists believe that dinosaurs once roamed around on the earth and died out and became extinct because they could not adapt to the changing climate. So we should work towards keeping the climate stable otherwise some other species may become extinct. So students, we discussed about some of the features or characteristics of the hot and dry climates. Now let us look, let us have a look at some animals and the ways they adapt to such climates that is desert like climates. Yes, first and very popular and well known animal is camel. Students as we have discussed that camels have long eyelashes. They have ear hair and nostrils that they can close to keep the sand out when if the wind blows. They even have thick eyebrows that provide shade from the bright, sorry, from the bright sun. There are other adaptations. There are other adaptations of camels are also there like their wide feet help them to walk on sand without sinking into it. The hump of a camel is a reservoir of fatty tissue while water is stored in its blood. So this is one such amazing thing. Then a camel can go a week or more without water and it can last and uh, for several months without food. There are other interesting adaptations too like camels have thick lips which help them to feed on prickly dessert plants like cactus without hurting themselves and unlike most mammals a camel can withstand body temperature changes throughout the day from 34 degrees celsius to 41.7 degrees celsius during the daytime and this allows the camel to conserve water but by not sweating as the environmental temperature rises. So how amazing it is. Other than camels, there are other animals too which survive in such climates. And they are reptiles and birds. So here reptiles and birds excrete metabolic wastes in the form of uric acid. So what is, a, what is an uric acid? Yes, uric acid is an insoluble white compound wasting very little water in the process. 
So reptiles and birds excrete metabolic wastes in the form of uric acid which wastes with, with, because of which very little was, water is wasted in the process. So this is the spatial adaptation or the spatial characteristics of such animals and birds because they live in or because of which they survive in such hot and dry climates. There are other various species of desert dwelling ground squirrels too and toads which remain dormant sleeping away the hottest part of the summer. Then there are other animals too like kangaroo rats which live in burrows which they seal off to block out midday heat and to recycle the moisture from their own breathing. So this is a beautiful picture of kangaroo rat. Then they have other adaptations too like kangaroo rats are active only during the morning and evening to escape from the scorching heat and these animals can manufacture water by digesting dry seeds. So how amazing it is. Even there are desert snakes and other animals too which survive which can survive in such climates because of their spatial characteristic and characteristics and their adaptations. So besides all these animals there is one more animal named fennec. Now students fennecs are nocturnal in nature means they are only searching for food at night not during the day. So they are nocturnal means they search for food at night when it is less hot and during the day the fennec keeps to its den with other foxes and its long ears help to dissipate heat. So here you can see the beautiful picture of a fennec and they are the long ears which help to dissipate heat. Right? So these are some of the animals which have adapted to hot and dry climates because of their spatial characteristics, their spatial adaptations. So that was all about the adaptation, introduction to adaptation, migration and we discussed about one such climate and the animals which have adapted to desert like climates. So we will discuss about other climates in the next session. Till then keep learning, keep enjoying, see you and meet you in the next session. Don't miss it. Bye bye and thank you.